Hi there. Today I'd like to walk you through the capabilities of Security Scorecard's integration with Splunk. Our integration includes an add-on, essentially a data connector, and an app, which in our case is a collection of interactive dashboards built on top of the add-on's data. Let's look at the add-on first. Like I said, the add-on is the data connector to Security Scorecard. If we expand here, we can see that it is configured to pull from our API using a pre-configured account and it runs once a day. In this example, we're pretending to be Splunk in terms of watching our own scorecard. We can see that Splunk is able to capture score changes, factor score changes, new events, and new issue level findings. To demonstrate, we can perform a search. We can search by various things in the events, such as domain, Um, and score changes for that domain or we can search by type such as issues observed and we can see all of the information captured here. Now that we know what the data looks like let's take a look at the app which is our collection of interactive dashboards we have several dashboards designed to be helpful for different use cases within Splunk. Here we are seeing the My Scorecard dashboard, which is for Splunk.com in this case. We can see the top level grade, top level score, the score trend, as well as all of the factors relevant to the score and what that factor was in the previous day. We can see the distribution of issue types by factor, as well as issue types by severity. And at the bottom of the page, we can see all of the events relevant to this particular domain. If we clicked one of these, then we can be taken directly to Splunk's page in Security Scorecard if we'd like to see more information within the platform. Secondly, we have the Vendor Scores dashboard, where we can view all of the vendors that were included in the portfolio as configured within the integration. We can see all of the companies, their current score, and what the score was on the previous day. In most cases, it wouldn't change too drastically. We can see the top level grade and factor score. However, this is much easier to observe if we filter it down by company or industry. We can see all of Acedian's factor scores. If we go a little lower, we can see all of the issues per vendor. Again, this is quite a lot of information, and it's much easier if we use the filter on the top. We can filter by industry, for example. And we can see that this is the main relevant score from or main relevant issue from the last seven days. If we click one of these rows, we'll be taken to this company's scorecard, insecurity scorecard. And if we view the issue, we'll be taken to the issue relevant to the company in security scorecard. The next dashboard is active issues, which is showing all of the issues as discovered or are relevant within the last seven days or whatever time range is selected. If we click one of these issues, we of course will be taken to that issue within the dashboard of the company we selected. We can also see in the same way issue types by factor and issue types by severity as well as the distribution on this pie graph of the severity of issues. And again, we can see the events relevant to this dashboard. In the same way, we can also filter by all of these elements, including portfolio, if we have selected multiple portfolios. Next up is the vendor issue dashboards, of which we have two, but in the future may have more. This shows the same or a very similar graph or chart that is to what we saw in the previous screen, except it's filtered down to issues that are relevant to CVEs. For example, 
patching cadence high, um, service vulnerability host medium high. We can dig down into this chart and of course see the events that are relevant to it. And if we click this row, it will take us to that company and the company's page for this issue. Again, we can filter by all of these elements, but this time also by the CVE issue. Likewise, we can see all the same thing, but for ransomware issues, of which these are the options, the ones that were observed in this case. Finally, we have the Spotlight dashboard, where we can view the worst performing companies, most critical issues, and most common issues. We get to see what the score of these companies are and how many companies are affected by these high severity issues. And this graph will show us the percentage of a portfolio that is affected by the most common issues. Again, we can filter by industry, factor, company in the same way. From the app, we can perform a search in the exact same way as we can from the add-on. It's essentially the same interface. It's just a question of preference. And in terms of setup, it's just a matter of selecting the company that you want to observe as your own scorecard. This concludes the demo walkthrough of the Splunk integration with Security Scorecard. Thank you for watching.